Hi, welcome in. Day 46, 1 Corinthians, message of the good news. When people become Christians, they don't at the same moment become nice. This always comes as something of a surprise. Conversion to Christ and his ways doesn't automatically furnish a person with impeccable manners and suitable morals. The people of Corinth had a reputation in the ancient world as an unruly, hard, drinking, sexually promiscuous bunch of people. When Paul arrived with the message and many of them became believers in Jesus, they brought their reputations with them right into the church. Paul spent a year and a half with them as their pastor, going over the message of the good news in detail, showing them how to live out this new life of salvation and holiness as a community of believers. Then he went on his way to other towns and churches. Sometime later, Paul received a report from one of the Corinthian families that in his absence, things had more or less fallen apart. He also received a letter from Corinth asking for help. Factions had developed, morals were in, dis in disrepair, Worship had degenerated into a selfish grabbing for the supernatural. It was the kind of thing that might have been expected from Corinthians. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians is a classic of pastoral response, affectionate, firm, clear, and unswerving, in the conviction that God among them, revealed in Jesus and present in his Holy Spirit, continued to be the central issue in their lives, regardless of how much of a mess they had made of things. Don't you realize that this is not the way to live? Unjust people who don't care about God will not be joining in his kingdom. Those who use and abuse each other, use and abuse sex, use and abuse the earth and everything in it, don't qualify as citizens in God's kingdom. A number of you know from experience what I'm talking about. For not so long ago, you were on that list. Since then, you've been cleaned up and given a fresh start by Jesus, our master, our Messiah, and by our God present in us, the spirit. Just because something is technically legal doesn't mean that it's spiritually appropriate. 1 Corinthians 6, verses 9 to 12. Paul doesn't disown them as brother and sister Christians, doesn't throw them out because of their bad behavior, and doesn't fly into a tirade over their irresponsible ways. He takes it all more or less in stride, but also takes them by the hand and goes over all the old ground again, directing them in how to work all the glorious details of God's saving love and their love for one another. Love never dies. Inspired speech will be over someday. Praying in tongues will end. Understanding will reach its limit. We know only a portion of the truth and what we say about God is always incomplete. But when the complete arrives, our incompletes will be canceled. But for right now, until that completeness, we have three things to do to lead us toward that consummation. Trust steadily in God, hope unswervingly, love extravagantly, and the best of the three is love. 1 Corinthians 13, verses 8 to 10, and verse 13.